all the way in the back of Windward Community College sits an aquaponics research facility and agriculture classroom. The field is dotted with water tanks and plant beds filled with lush produce. Because most of our energy, most of our food is imported and we're running out of uh, places to grow food and that's why this work is uh, being done because you don't require soil. Aquaponics is a combination of growing plants in water and raising aquatic animals like fish. Each helps the other survive and thrive. Clyde Tamaru and his students will be joining about 80 UH delegates at this year's Smithsonian Folklife Festival in Washington, D.C. They're recreating an aquaponics system right on the National Mall for 1.5 million visitors to see and learn. Tamaru is an extension specialist with the UH Manoa College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources, and he's counting on his students to demonstrate how to grow their own food with little effort. You can use aquaponics in the city, you can use it in the country, you can use it, it can go anywhere as long as you've got some sun. The system funnels the old fish water and nutrient-filled fish waste from the water tanks to the plants. So we're cycling the water, nutrient-rich water, to plants. The plants actually will take up the nutrients and by the time it goes back to the fish tank, we have clean water. The recycled water means these plants need significantly less water to survive. In fact, Aquaponics uses only 5% of the water normally needed to grow this produce. Hawaiian Studies student Ilima Ho Lastimosa is program director of God's Country in Waimanalo, where she teaches the community how to grow this simple organic food in their backyards for about $300. We definitely can grow and eat our own food. All we gotta do is choose to, that's all. And food, food sovereignty is the biggest and most powerful thing you can have for yourself and your family. The 10-day Smithsonian Folklife Festival begins June 27th and continues through July 8th.